Hi, I'm Heather Ricksecker, the principal of Fairlawn Elementary. Hello, I am Pat Gascoigne, the assistant principal for Fairlawn Elementary. Now join us on our virtual tour. As you enter our front office this year, you'll see some of the precautions that we're taking to ensure everyone's safety. You'll also see Mrs. Host, our front office clerk, as well as you'll see Mrs. Vallejos, who is our data specialist. They're both here to serve any need that you may have. And for our new kindergarten families, this is our kindergarten wing where all of our kindergarten classes are held. So your babies are all safe within one hallway and they get to have fun exploring within their classrooms. Hey, let's go check out our media center where Mrs. Rydell and Mrs. Burford have great fun reading to our students. Read, read, read. It's so much fun to read. Welcome to our media center. We have great fun reading lots of books. This one, however, is Sorry Grown Ups, You Can't Go to School. But we'll have great fun here with our students having fun reading. Welcome to our art class where Mr. Gelardo has the greatest time having fun with the students. From portrait drawings to pottery. They have amazing activities that he plans for them all. Music with Miss Quillinan, or Mrs. Q as the kids call her, is another exciting resource here at Fairlawn. We're excited to have the kids back and playing the music. Hi Fairlawn families, this is our cafeteria. Remember to go online and fill out your meal application and remember breakfast is always free so your kids get a great start to their day. It's recess time where students are provided 20 minutes of recess every day. There's plenty of room to run and have fun. At Fairlawn, social-emotional learning is a big part of our curriculum. We have our own SEL room here, including a sensory walk on your way to our SEL room. Inside of our SEL room, there's going to be plenty of opportunities for our students to interact with their peers on a social and emotional level. Hey, Ms. Rick Sacker. Ooh. Another great resource here at Fairlawn is physical education, PE as it's known, with Coach Ebright and Coach Kulavaris, where they design lots of fun activities for the students to play. Here at Fairlawn, we have our positive behavior support system. That allows our students an opportunity to earn Patriot perks when they're following the expectations in the classroom, in the hallways, even in the cafeteria. They're then able to take our perks and come to our Patriot Pact reward store where they get to exchange their perks for things from school supplies to neat interactive toys. So we look forward to your kids earning some perks this year and seeing them succeed. So parents, here are some of our really cool spirit wear. Go to schoolpay.com, scroll down to Fairlawn, and click on your desired item, whether it's a cool t-shirt or sweatshirt. Have fun purchasing. Parents and guardians, just some general tips as we close out our virtual open house. Please be sure to like our school's Facebook page. We always put updates and important information for you to see. Also, please be on the lookout for an invitation from your child's teacher via email or phone call for an open house in each of their classrooms. We look forward to this school year with you all.
St. Lucie Public Schools is excited to welcome our students and staff back for the 2020-2021 school year. Our number one goal is to provide the safest teaching and learning environment possible for our students and our employees. This video series will illustrate some of the changes that our families and employees will see as we reopen schools. The implementation of universal health precautions is the best way we can keep each other healthy and safe. We'll be working together to implement multiple steps which defend against the transmission of illnesses, including COVID-19. These defenses include wearing a mask, staying home when sick, frequent hand washing, social distancing, and frequent cleaning of high touch points face coverings during the upcoming school year. The use of face coverings is required for all students and staff. Students may only remove their masks if they have permission from a staff member because they are socially distanced from one another. We are strongly encouraging parents to provide a reusable face covering or disposable mask for their child. Masks will be provided for employees and students who are unable to provide their own. Parents are asked to send students to school with a bottle of water or refillable water container, as the water fountains will only be used to refill water bottles and refillable containers. Staff and visitors during the upcoming school year. We cannot stress enough the importance of staying home when you are sick. All staff and visitors will receive a temperature check upon arrival. Anyone with a temperature above 100.4 degrees will not be able to enter the facility. Staff and visitors will also be screened upon arrival. Anyone who has experienced flu-like symptoms, been exposed to someone who has tested positive for COVID-19, or have traveled internationally or to heavily impacted regions within the United States during the past 14 days will not be able to enter the facility. Student attendance during the upcoming school year. Students should stay home if they are sick. Students returning from international travel or heavily impacted regions within the United States will be required to enter precautionary quarantine for 14 days upon return. The use of perfect attendance awards and incentives will not be a focus this year. Bus safety during the upcoming school year. So this year in St. Lucie County Public Schools, bus riding for students is gonna be somewhat different. We encourage parents and guardians to drop off their students or have them walk or ride bikes to school whenever possible. When buses will be used, our riders and drivers will follow a series of new safety protocols. While waiting for the bus, we ask that all students wear face coverings and follow social distancing guidelines. Drivers will be equipped with gloves, masks, and face shields for maximum protection. Between every route, drivers and aides will be cleaning the bus seats and touch points with an EPA-approved cleaner. This cleaner disinfects within one minute. Should a case of COVID-19 be traced to a rider of one of our buses, that bus will be removed from service. A secondary deep clean disinfecting will be performed on the entire bus before it returns to service. Hand sanitizer will be provided for riders as they enter and exit the bus. Riders are required to wear face masks at all times. We ask that riders adhere to social distancing whenever possible. Students from the same household will be allowed to sit together, otherwise riders will be spread out as much as possible. Bus schedules are being developed to reduce ridership on any given route. Bus windows will be lowered to improve ventilation as much as possible. Upon arrival, do not congregate and move directly to your classroom or destination. In the classroom during the upcoming school year. While we'll strive to keep the traditional school experience the same, the implementation of universal health and safety protocols will be added as a major focus of daily life in our schools. 
In addition, we have some new classroom safety protocols. Excessive furniture will be removed to allow for maximum use of space. When possible, students will be seated at least six feet apart. While social distancing in classrooms, masks may only be removed when permitted by a faculty or staff member. When moving into smaller groups, or when social distancing is not available, masks must always be worn. Teachers will provide breaks to allow for hand washing at strategic points throughout the day, such as before and after lunch, resource and recess, and after sharing equipment or supplies. The use of soap and water for at least 20 seconds is best. However, when unavailable, hand sanitizer will be provided. Explicit lessons on healthy habits will be conducted, including topics like hand washing, cough etiquette, use of masks, social distancing, and staying home when sick. Transitions during the upcoming school year. Hallway movement and transitions will have some new safety protocols for the upcoming school year. Masks must be worn at all times when transitioning from one area of the school to another. Many hallways and stairwells will be designated as one way to reduce traffic and congestion. These areas will be well marked with appropriate signage. Students in younger grades will line up according to social distancing guidelines with the use of clearly visible signage. Today, we are here to talk about what the great things we have done, um, making sure that our staff are safe, and that our children that are coming to school um, feel safe and everything is sanitized within the kitchen and on our serving lines to make sure that the students can get a healthy meal at breakfast time and at lunch time. All of our food service employees have been trained to make sure that we're following the CDC guidelines as to wearing masks and we also wear gloves during preparation. They start making sure that all of the tables and the utensils are sanitized prior to preparing the food. During the preparation, employees will be required to sanitize their hands and wash their hands every 30 minutes, just to make sure our sanitation methods are taking effect. We make sure that the serving line is sanitized prior to putting the meals on. Then after each class, the serving line will be sanitized once again. At the end of the day, we begin our sanitizing methods again and sanitizing the serving line. Then we also make sure that all the doors, all the handles, the cashier station, all of the tables are sanitized again one last time before the end of the day. So, and that is our method throughout the entire school day to make sure that our staff is feeling comfortable by making sure that they're wearing their mask and sanitizing their hands continuously, and also to make sure that our students are feeling safe and comfortable as well. Breakfast and lunch will be very different for the upcoming school year. Meal service times will be staggered with longer lunch periods to maximize social distancing. Additional school areas will also be utilized, such as outdoor spaces and classrooms. As students enter the cafeteria, they will use hand sanitizer. Face coverings must be worn upon entry and while students are in the service line. Service lines, entries, and exits will have marked spaces to help ensure social distancing. Meal service will be as contact-free as possible. To achieve this, a selection of prepackaged meals will be available and distributed in small groups. Transactions will be touchless at point of sale, with cafeteria employees entering lunch numbers. Students will be prohibited from sharing utensils or foods. While these new meal protocols will take some getting used to, our goal is to provide every student with a safe and enjoyable experience.
for the upcoming year, schools will be providing three different clinical spaces to meet the needs of our students. The main clinic will remain in place. In addition, schools are providing an isolation room for students who have been identified as having a fever or flu-like symptoms. These students must be kept separate from other students visiting the main clinic. There will also be a separate nebulizer clinic space. Each clinical space will have different requirements. The main clinic is a designated area at each school in the district, which is utilized to assess the day-to-day -day health needs of students and staff. This includes administering doctor-prescribed medicine, first aid, and performing mandated health screenings. Students who fall ill during the day and display flu-like symptoms will be cared for in a designated isolation room. If a student presents a fever, parents will be contacted and advised to pick up the child from school as quickly as possible. Any student with a fever must stay home for a minimum of three days. If a student has tested positive for COVID-19, that student must stay home for at least 14 days. Students who require in-school doctor prescribed nebulizer treatments will receive those treatments in the nebulizer room, separate from other students, including those in the main clinic and the isolation room. COVID-19 response during the upcoming school year. Should a case of COVID-19 be found at one of our schools, the district will work closely with the Florida Department of Health in St. Lucie County. As with all matters of public health, the Department of Health will take the lead and conduct a thorough contact tracing investigation. They will contact parents and identify students and employees who should stay home and self-quarantine to reduce further spread. Impacted classrooms or school facilities will remain off limits as they undergo deep cleaning with CDC recommended EPA approved hospital grade disinfectant. In addition, impacted buses will also be removed from service to undergo deep cleaning. COVID-19 is primarily an airborne pathogen. We are focusing on ensuring students minimize their risks by hand washing, having good hygiene and healthy habits. During the upcoming school year, classrooms and shared areas will be cleaned first and then disinfected with hospital grade disinfectant. We're going to be following an enhanced protocol for cleaning and disinfecting all touch points throughout the day uh, and at night, of course, so it's all cleaned and disinfected for the morning. For deep cleaning, we're going to be using a disinfectant. We call it the EMIS machine. It is uh, approved by the uh, CDC and EPA. It has formulas that are approved for disinfection. These machines are a combination of an electrostatic sprayer with Clorox disinfectant and sanitizing solutions which provide chemical coverage quickly and easily. The system uses an electrode to introduce an attractive charge to the chemical mixture and then atomizes the solution before using an air compressor to generate the liquid flow. It can cover up to 18,000 square feet per hour, even in hard to reach places, including the sides, underside, and backside of surfaces. The Clorox 360 solution is also an EPA approved solution per CDC guidelines. We will be disinfecting throughout the day High touch points being pushes, door pulls, handrails, computer keyboards, light switches, anything that is a high touch point throughout the school. We will also be providing uh, disinfectant wipes and hand sanitizer for every classroom. Parents, we have the same goal that you have. We want to have a healthy and safe school year where we're meeting the needs of your students. I know with the collaborative partnerships and engagement from our families, we will be able to reach that goal. St. Lucie Public Schools, we're in this together.